hello everyone so in this video it will be another lock extension video i have several of them on this channel if you want to check out the playlist you can so basically this will be lock extensions being attached to her hair and these are some of the tools that i use i'll be using number one and two in this video so I start with number two, and that's because that's the one I like the most. It's the one that I use the most because I'm more comfortable with it. It cuts down time, but it gives me more flexibility than the third tool that has three needles. So the two needles cut down time and I'm able to still be flexible and um, attach securely. And that's just me showing you guys exactly what is really going on when I attach lock extensions or when they're being attached. It's just strands being pulled through. So with this needle, two strands could be pulled through at one time, whereas with the one needle, it's one strand at one time, or if it happens to catch two, then that happens also. But pretty much I'm meshing the hair from the client's head to the lock extension and then meshing the hair from the lock extension to the hair from the client's head and creating a seamless attachment that is all there is to it yes it's very meticulous yes it takes a very long time um most of my attachments are between four to four to six hours most of them are are in between that And sometimes when I use these tools that have more than one needle, I go back with the one needle to polish it if there, are any, if there are any areas where I need to do so. And as you can see, the texture blends in very well. That is one reason I like the um, crochet lock extensions over the wrap lock extensions. I still do the wrap lock extensions for clients who request it. Now this is the single needle. This is the needle I, start, I started out using. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that just to compare it to the second one. Just to compare it to the one that has the double needle. So using this needle, the first needle I started out using is the, I bought it at a craft store. It takes me about two and a half minutes to securely attach this lock extension to the client's head. Although this needle takes longer than the double needle, I feel like it's like, you know when you have something and it's just like your little original thing, I love going back to it, even though it takes longer because I'm able to really mat be meticulous. I love being meticulous. So I'm really able to do that with one needle. However, the double needle gives me that flexibility as well but it also cuts down on time. So that is a huge pro for me. And I love, uh, I love that there are more tools out there that we can use to either repair our locks, attach locks, and also make locks. I get a lot of comments about where I'm located, how to contact me, just read the description box and you will see all of that information. I'm not able to respond back to everyone who says, where are you located? Because there's so many people who want to know where I'm located. But that information is usually in the about section of my channel or in the description box because I am subject to change locations. Um, so it would be, I can't really say, hey, I'm here. And then everybody thinks I'm there and then I move. So yeah. I will also start traveling soon and I will announce when I start I will announce whatever city that I'm in whatever city or country that I'm in that way anyone who is interested can book so this is real time I have not sped up this footage at all this is real time of start to finish of attaching the lock so now I'm gonna do the double needle and this is also real time. I didn't speed it up just to give a, a, a realistic idea of what it is, what I'm doing and what it's looking like. Now 
Now this needle can be really tricky if you have never used it before, so I definitely recommend practicing before using it. And this is the finished product. I used the double needle to do most of her head. I believe I only used the first needle just to show you guys um, the time difference. And it blended into her hair very well. So after this, we're just gonna wash and make sure everything is secure and clean before we retwist. And also a tutorial on the sink that I use, how I um, I'm able to set it up without any plumbing should be up by the time you guys are watching this video. If not, I'm sorry, stay tuned. And the shampoo I'm using is Talia Wajid Stimulating Herbal Cleanser. I will have links in my description for everything that you see here if you so desire to purchase it or, or if you're looking for it. And this is after the wash. As you can see, everything's still intact. The texture is looking very good, blending in very seamlessly. And I'm gonna just go ahead in and retwist. I'm pinning the front row, but I am looping the rest of her hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and braid it, use three do a three strand braid or three lock braid because she wants a braid out. And that's the beauty of these locks. You are able to achieve that the same day. You're able to get the length that you want, the look that you want, and get the style that you want the very same day that it's attached. These locks are very flexible. They're very sturdy, yet they're really malleable as they will be stay, will style just like naturally grown locks. She spent about 45 minutes under the dryer and, and this dryer will also be in the description if you want to go purchase it. Also the wraps that I use to wrap the edges will be in the description. I'm just doing a reverse braid here to take her braid out, to take her braids down to achieve her braid out.
and voila here's the finished product it looks amazing her scalp looks great the size looks great on her and I've never seen anyone that gets locks and is a, it doesn't look good on them like locks look good on everybody I thank you guys so much for watching thank you to my client for coming all the way from Chicago I hope all is well with you guys see you guys in my next video bye